Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Mackey Motors post-game show continues here on KKRL. Paige Clucky joining us after the Wildcats pick up a 59-42 victory tonight over Peyton Chardin. And Paige with a pretty good game here tonight, 28 points, 19 rebounds. And, and Paige, I appreciate you coming up. Um, hard fought game here tonight. You guys are only up eight with about two and a half minutes left. Had to pull away down the stretch here tonight. What was this one like out there? I feel like both teams are really scrappy. And I mean, PC really showed up tonight with just crawling all over the floor and we just had to be more aggressive out there. Did you anticipate that and then how quickly did you guys kind of start to match maybe that intensity that they were playing with or did you match it right off the bat? Not right off the bat. I mean, I think it took us a little bit to realize, oh, we actually got to try a little bit harder here if we want to get the win. <laughs> Is that something that this team has had an issue with or do you feel like most of the time you guys come out and play with the intensity do you need to right away? Um, it depends, I think, on the day. Sometimes we come out really intense and other times we struggle and it takes a little bit for us to get into it. You scored early with a three to tie it and then you gave you guys the lead with, with a free throw after Emma Stream came out and hit a couple of early shots. What did you guys do defensively tonight to try and slow down Stream and Becca Anderson? Um, coach switched us to man, so I think that helped and she put um, me on Emma. That way I could read her and what she was doing. So I think our man was pretty good tonight. When you switch back over to zone tonight, how did you feel like the zone worker? You're more comfortable just playing man. I mean, I like zone more, <laughs> but <laughs> I think we do a good job at man, so I think both work pretty good. What did you see from Emma then trying to defend her tonight? How would you try to take away what she was doing well? Um, well, they would try to screen us, obviously, to get Emma open, so I just try to read those screens and keep her without shooting the ball around the three. <laughs> How would you feel like you executed on the offensive end? You hit a few threes tonight. I think you had you for, for one of those, but did a lot of your damage inside, whether it be on the boards or get the putbacks or just posting up. Um, yeah, I try to, if I'm struggling on the inside, I go to the outside and then vice versa. So I worked on my moves inside the lane. I think I did good with that tonight. What were they trying to do defensively against you? Um, trap me in the lane, double team me, anything they could to make sure I could <laughs> get in there and score. <laughs> What's the senior season been like for you so far and, and where's this team continuing to grow? It's been so fun. I love both of my coaches and I think we just have a really good bond this year and I hope that the girls can continue that next year without Vanessa and I. West Harrison coming up on Friday night. You can keep some momentum rolling there. Yeah. They're struggling a little bit this year, but another game where if you don't come out focused, <laughs> things could get a little dicey early on. So yeah. what do you got to do to go out and get a win on Friday? We just need to go in and focus and have lock down defense and work on our shots and just work as a team together. Well, I haven't officially announced it on the radio yet, but you're our player of the game tonight. So congratulations <laughs> on that. Thank you. You bet. So Paige, appreciate you joining us. Best of luck coming up the rest Thank of the you. way. Good to see you. <laughs> you too. Paige Clucky joining us. We're going to get head coach Ashley Kaler making her way over here to the post-game area and we're getting her thoughts on the game here tonight as again the Wildcats pick up a 59-42 victory and, and coach as always appreciate you joining us here congrats uh pleased with this one here tonight especially the way able to pull away down the stretch yeah I mean if you take one quarter out <laughs> <laughs> um yeah no we pulled away and you know fourth quarter we got some steals um a little touchy on our defense on the first half um Got some foul trouble early. Yep. I think about everyone had two fouls except for me, the cage, I think, or Liz. Um, but no, yeah, not bad. We got the win that we needed to win. So, I mean, that was good to see. It's good to see Paige out there, too, with 28. That's a big game for her. Yeah, and I had her 19 rebounds. I don't know if that's – they're not official, but I had her That's probably pretty rebounds. close. I feel yeah. like she was right there. Um, I don't know yet. I have to send it to huddle. But it, I, I would say, yeah, it's probably pretty dang close. So, Coach, what did you do differently in the second half to stay away from the foul trouble? Um, well, we, we actually kind of took our press off a little bit on the tap. And then we actually went to man a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like we could match up a little bit better. I felt like our 2-3 zone, they were getting through pretty quickly. Um, so we matched up a little bit better, and we just put, moved our feet finally, I guess, the third quarter and fourth <laughs> quarter. <laughs> Struggled the first half, but that's all right. Well, offensively, how did you feel like you guys executed here tonight? Um, I felt like we kind of rushed some shots tonight a little bit. Um, I felt like, you know, we forced a couple things that here and there. Um, but other than that, you know, I mean, Tyla with 18 and Paige with 28, I mean, that's pretty consistent of their averages and the other girls chipping in. 
um, Ashton Clucky, you know, and Ashton Clucky, she didn't have any points tonight, but man, she's just been doing good things for us yep. for defensively. Um, and then Cassidy too, knocking down seven points for us, so that was pretty big for us. But you mentioned, uh, you know, Elizabeth here for a second. Um, I thought did a really nice job. Maybe had that one errant pass early. Yeah. Uh, but I, I thought her high-low dumps down inside were really good too. Yes. I mean, Liz has just been, you know, she doesn't score a whole lot of points, but right. she does a lot of stuff for us on defense, and she sets up a lot of things for Paige. Um, you know, if they don't, they come to her and we can dump down to Paige um, and just kicking out to the Tyler and Vanessa and them. You no, know, Liz has done well from us. Um, you know, the start of the year, we really worked on that with Liz because she wouldn't turn completely around. around. Right. But now, you know, she's she's really doing a good job for us. So she's definitely key key on our defense too. So she's a huge part of that defense. Bradley Box had a nice little yes. run there. I think it was in the fourth, maybe early in the fourth or even in the third quarter, but came out in the second half and got aggressive go into the rim and got her got a few shots to fall. Yes, Bradley Bach had nice drives tonight, um, hard attacks to the hoop. Um, she chipped in six points tonight for us, so that's huge for her. It's a big game. Um, she did some really good things. I mean, shot the three tonight a little bit, got some open shots yep. when she needed to, um, and then just drove it the hole. So, yeah, Bradley did a great, had a great game tonight. West Harrison now on Friday night. I kind of mentioned to Paige, similar with Peyton Chardin, they're struggling a little bit. Mm -hmm. But if you don't come out focused, it's one of those teams that can jump in and bite you a little bit yeah. early. Oh, yeah, that's what we talked about actually in the locker room. Um, we have to come out ready to go. Um, we have to put four quarters together, and that's key. So, yep, we definitely have to put four quarters together um just play us just do us and i think you know we'll have a good shot at it um but we can't have that off quarter we're yep. struggling right now with having that off quarter a little bit take some time off a little bit on that and so we'll get back at it and practice these next two days and be ready to go for friday well coaches always appreciate you joining us good to see you again yes Best of luck coming you. up friday and the rest of the way yes i appreciate it thank you jeff you bet head coach ashley kaler again with the glenn ralston wildcats they pick up a 59 42 victory here tonight against peyton Sherdan.